you know one thing that I'm certain of, that every person that I'm talking to can remember what it felt like as a child to be hurting and have mom and dad come over and put you in the embrace of their arms. And you felt their love and their protection and pretty soon you felt all right. That is a priceless memory. But as an adult, often we don't have that. We, we tell ourselves we're too strong to need that, but everybody needs that. And you need that. You need the loving embrace of being in the everlasting arms of God. It is something that is absolutely the most comforting thing that you'll ever experience in an entire lifetime. As I said, the child hurt and fearful runs to a parent so that the strong arms can hold that child and loving words can strengthen that child so that that child will know that everything will be all right. The growing up, though, hurt and fearful, sometimes does not know where to turn. Who will speak the words to strengthen the adult? How can that adult be sure that everything is going to work out all right at some time? Everyone is privileged to be of help to another. And I believe that people that are a help to another at a time of need, they're angels of God. They are helping God. They're doing God's purpose. At some time, you're going to be inspired to speak inspiring words. You're going to be inspired to speak comforting words. Don't hold it back. Do it. You're serving God by doing it. At some time, everyone is absolutely privileged to be the one who helps another know that everything is going to be all right. Of course, we pray for the ultimate comfort to be with that person that they are in the everlasting arms of God. But let them also be in your loving embrace. Let them also feel human love through your words, your actions, your kindness. Whether you know the person or the person is a stranger that you just met, God's love and God's compassion can be expressed through you to God's children everywhere. How easy it is to know that you have lived your life in the highest way, that you have met your purpose in the day that you do this. To know that everything is going to be all right. You know it because the love flows through you first. You feel it first. And then the other person feels it and can sense and begin to feel that everything is going to be all right. The strengthening, loving presence of God, the everlasting arms of God, perhaps they're your arms as you go forward to embrace others and to comfort and allow God to be expressed through you, as you. It says in the Bible, in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 18, Therefore, comfort one another with these words. I pray that you are a comfort to all those that you see. I pray that people love to be around you because of the way they feel when they're with you. I pray that you can Pray and ask God to 
manifest through you as you. And as you go about your day, you never miss the opportunity to let your light shine. And as you leave this person that you have comforted, may you be comforted yourself in knowing that you did your all. And in praying a prayer that God's everlasting arms will continue to comfort. May God bless you. I pray that these videos and my words on positive daily inspiration are a comfort to you. I pray that they're an embrace of God's everlasting arms on a daily basis. God bless you, my friend.